Hello everyone, welcome back to the uh, Railroad Tycoon 3 fan-made scenarios. Uh, this time playing in a scenario called Sea India by Rail. You can download this from Hawk and Badger Railroad uh, website. You start in 1947 and the scenario ends in 1980, so that's like 34 years worth of play. It's a massive map uh, covering India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Burma, uh, Nepal... Bhutan, possibly Afghanistan, and China in the form of Tibet, though you don't ever go there. Because um, I don't think there's like, anything there, and it costs like stupidly much to get in there. Anyway, um, I'm going to be playing with 6 AI, which is the maximum. Um, can't remember how well the AI do, because I've played the scenario before, I think I played on medium. Uh, I don't think it was expert. And I did get gold, uh, and this is a fun scenario. I do remember playing this scenario thinking this is a very fun scenario. Um, there's a lot to do in this map. Uh, the goals are challenging, so I kind of will be surprised if I got gold on expert. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. Uh, and also, interestingly, as you'll soon see, uh, you'll be presented with a choice early on, and that will basically decide uh, what your objectives are, because there are actually three ways uh, to play this scenario. There's the Tycoon, uh, the Railroader, and I want to say the Magnate, but we'll find out in a bit. Um, and I'm going to be selecting the one that kind of just suits me best, which is basically just collect, connect a load of cities and haul a load of stuff. Um, but you can make a fortune on this map if you play it correctly, and um, the goals themselves are tough. As you'll soon see. Uh, but it is a massive map. There's a lot of cities. There's a lot of cargo. And it's very varied. Because obviously India is a massive country. With. Well at time of playing. Like half a million. Sorry half a billion people. And at the present it's like 1.2 billion. So yeah. Um, you can play as a railroader. As an industry barrel magnet. Or as a railroad tycoon. Uh, we are going to be playing as a railroader. But I'll just read out everything anyway. Um. For sake of completeness. Railroader, what we're going for. Six key cities, which will be read out when we select it, plus 69 more, so basically 75 cities, and given that, like, that's basically just every city on the map, pretty much. And 15,000 loads of any cargo, which must include 250 loads each of coffee, goods, and paper. Add AI players if you wish. We have done. Uh, Magnate, 500 million company book value, which is ridiculous. Um... That just goes to show how ridiculously profitable you need to be. And you only have 34 years as well. Uh, 350 million lifetime industry profits. That's like an average of 10 million a year in industry profit alone. And 5,000 miles of track. Tycoon. Personal net worth of 350 million. Again, insane. Because um, that's like... If you imagine... Typical share price is $50. That's like having 7 million shares in your company. And none of them be bought on the margin. Uh, that requires at least... Th and also be the only company. So you need at least 3 to 6 AI players. Uh, no bronze medals. Goals and silver medal goals will be shown on status page. 34 years. Limited track. No train crashes. Very useful. No multiple companies. Enjoy India by rail. So we are going to go for railroader. Um, which is basically just uh, connect everywhere and pull a load of crap. It's entirely possible that we will also um, complete magnates simply by going for railroader. Tycoon, not going to happen. We might end up being the only company on the map, uh, depending on how shit the AI do. And 350 million net worth... Almost certainly not going to happen. I'd be, I'd be surprised if we get even 50 million. Um, given that normally, unless I really, really focus on net worth, net worth is like nothing really. Um, so yeah, so connects Bombay to New Delhi, Chuni and Calcutta for silver and gold, Majurai and Tinsukia for gold. This will all be in the ledger, hopefully. If it isn't, oh dear. Uh, 75 cities for gold, 50 for silver, 15,000 loads for gold, 9,000 for silver, 250 loads of tea and coffee, paper and goods for gold. 
34 years of play and in 1980. Uh, no multiple companies. Rewards for reaching benchmarks. Doesn't say what they are. Though I imagine they'll become obvious as we play the game. Special deals will be offered during the game. Uh, nice. So... Uh, simply for lols, we're going to go for the East India Railway Company, um, which was like the British... I can't remember the exact name. It was like the East India Trading Company, so... There. Um, we start with 1.32 million. India lacks steel for rails. Track is limited to 400 new pieces per year until 35 loads of steel are hauled by your company. Then, track increases to 750 per year. Your supply yard can hold no more than 1,500 pieces of track. To be fair... Whilst we obviously want to haul 35 loads of steel, 400 pieces a year is still a fair chunk. Um, Because considering we have 34 years, that's still like... Uh, 13,200... miles of track in total. Obviously, we want to haul 35 loads of steel. So, at some point, we need to start worrying about steel. Can hold no more than 1,500 miles of track. We start with 400. Right. Now, the important part. Where do we start? Because we can build an unconnected track as well. Uh, so that's useful. So. We don't actually need to concern ourselves with net worth. Straight away. Because we're going for railroader. Um, so we get rid of the dividend and issue some stock. Um, so if you look at the map. Which, the map itself is huge, although, in theory, this map should actually be about twice as big in each direction to be life-size, because India is just that big. I think from about there to there in real life should really be about 1,500 miles. Uh, I'm probably wrong on that. But, I think most of our traffic does end up becoming passenger uh, New Delhi is tempting, and that's where I started when I played it last time. There's no massive stacks of cargo. There's a bit of cargo sort of all over the place. Um, Patna, some stuff. I'm going to be mispronouncing a fair places. Uh, Bhopal has a load of stuff. What is that? Ah! A load of coal. But there's... Not much iron on this map. What limited iron there is, is sort of scattered about. Uh, coal, again. Sort of just scattered about the place. So, not massively useful. There's Kathmandu in Nepal. I said Nepal came into this scenario. Um, so, Nepal is a million to get into, which basically just covers Kathmandu. Um... East Pakistan, or Bangladesh, 2 million to get to, Burma, 4 million to get to, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Interestingly, all one territory. I don't know if at the time of this game, they weren't two separate countries. Or maybe just for simplicity's sake, the map maker decided to make Pakistan and Afghanistan all one territory. China and Tibet, 20 million, um, and there is just nothing here. It's just all, like, there's no cities, so there's no point going to China and Tibet. Uh, and Ceylon, or Sri Lanka, uh, half a million, with two cities on it. But you do need a suspension bridge to get there. I'm thinking... New Delhi is massive. And we don't actually... 
yeah, so... Since we basically just have to connect 75 cities anyway, that's just basically everywhere for gold. 50 for silver. Um, we do have to connect to New Delhi, Calcutta, um, and Bombay. So Bombay is like here. So it's a potential option to start in Bombay. A bit hilly. Uh, there are some good cities though, like Goa, Ahmadabad. Surat. Although New Delhi is flatter. And it, I'm thinking just start in New Delhi, to be quite honest. And I think we will go electric as well. So, first things first, build a station in New Delhi. And good, it has actually electrified. Uh, and then connect can. Her. So, I mean, a lot of these cities will be sort of small-ish or close together. Um, but obviously, they still count towards the 75 goal. Try and build, like, through the farm. Speaking of which, where is that? Ah, here you go. Um... I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but basically, because India is such a massive country and varied, unique to this scenario is that there's admittedly invisible, uh, so I don't know exactly where they are, uh, boundaries to sort of represent various regions of India. And each one has its own sort of advantages and disadvantages. So Ganges Valley, um, which I presume is the area around New Delhi, because the Ganges itself is, um, you can sort of see it here, it's like, um, one of these is the Brahmaputra, I believe. That's like the Indus Valley over there. So the Ganges, yeah, you can see it here, the Ganges is this one, it sort of stretches from like Calcutta through to look now and then around here. So it, it's about this sort of area, I presume. I don't think it includes like New Delhi. Bridge building costs are expensive in Ganges Valley since massive floods often swell the rivers. Densely populated regions so train speeds are reduced to hopefully lower the high rate of trackside deaths in India. Tourism helps hotels and restaurants bring in lots of cash. Yeah, so two disadvantages, but hotels and restaurants. So overall, probably not that good if I'm being honest. Um, but it could well be worthwhile if we get a lot of passengers, which I believe this scenario, you get a hell of a lot of passengers, which I suppose makes sense given that it's India, there's so many people, and I mean, have you seen some of India's trains with people climbing on the sides? That cannot be safe. Uh, can I get away with a medium station? No, I'm probably going to, no, let's just build a large, and then future-proof ourselves. So we're going to build, since New Delhi was sort of act as like the main central hub station, we're going to build the maintenance and service um, in New Delhi. And also these electric trains, I think we can get the E18 is a great train. Um, and I think it becomes unavailable in 1967, so that's like 20 years worth of E18, which is fantastic because it's such a great train. East India Railway Company starts a railroad. Yes, we have. New railroad company promises to span across India. Company chair Philip Thomas, known as a skilled railroader. I think it just says that because we went for railroader. As opposed to it saying, like, known as a skilled railroad tycoon or magnate or whatever. Uh, Agra. I think that's where the Taj Mahal is. Um, look now. Possibly used to be the capital of India. Like 200 years ago. I'm probably completely wrong. Um, but yeah, so if we look, uh, oh, there's actually not much, ex there's actually no express. Okay. Still though, uh, oh. Uh, uh, there's actually not, not much. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. Oh well. We are playing an expert, which obviously doesn't help either. Right, E18. New Delhi, Kanpur. So, a bit of grain and some clothes. I 
kind of want to see what the AI are going to do. To be quite honest. Ah! You have elected to play against AI players. Behind the scenes boosts should make the AI lively, but not as tough as they are in the tycoon choice. You can increase the AI's aggression to the tycoon's level. So, if we'd have gone for Tycoon instead of uh, Railroader like we did, would the AI have been tougher? We were already on, we we're already on Expert. Do I go super duper hardcore and make the AI even more tough? Why not? Let's just make the AI super duper tough. I mean, at the end of the day, we don't have to buy them out if we don't want to, and they might help the economy if they do well. There's six of them, there's no guarantee they're all going to do super well. So right from the bat we've got uh, Patna and Bargalpur, uh, which is not massively far from us. Patna itself having a warehouse that sort of does a lot of stuff. Patna actually has a lot of rice and stuff, which is interesting. Yeah, so. Passenger train fares in India are the lowest in the world. The numbers of passengers travelling are some of the highest in the world. Your trains may become overpacked with passengers. Many often ride on tops of train cars. I said that. It's not me being racist, it's a fact. You may want to add freight-only trains to move important, durable, and perishable... I'm guessing that's meant to say perishable... goods. Alternatively, we just take advantage of massive amounts of express that currently doesn't really exist. <sighs> um... Yeah, so I think that basically means that as the scenario progresses, you don't get a lot of money for passengers, but there are a lot of passengers. Because, I mean, if we look on the entire map, there are apparently 725 loads of passengers at the moment. And we've also got Madras Western has just appeared. Not really Western, it's more like Madras Northern. And they've got the sort of bugged custom logo. Um, oh well. Contemplating whether to put a dining car on the train. I think I will. Um, right. Places for ex ah. I was going to say places for expansion, and then I just noticed that Agra and Hisar has just appeared. Um, as the name suggests, it's gone from Agra to Hisar. Interestingly, the AI have gone for steam in the form of the 242A1, which is a rather expensive locomotive, but it is actually a very good locomotive, actually. 90 miles an hour, and it's good on hills. Acceptable to passengers. That is actually a very good locomotive, if you can afford it. Um, but the E18 is probably still better, because it's cheaper. Better stats, passengers really like it, it's more reliable. Uh, and about the same sort of speed, so we're going to stick with the E18. Uh, still three more AI to show up. Here we go. Bangalore Southern, Bangalore and Pondicherry. That is some awful track. Good lord, those gradients. I mean, it's all right here, but then. Rather than sort of build around it like that, which would have probably been better, they just... Obviously the AI always go for the shortest option. Uh, shortest distance. Even if that means building through a massive hill. Jabalpur Southern. So Jabalpur to Nagpur. And... There's still one to go that's not been built yet. Um, we could... I was going to say we could connect to Agra and then possibly let the AI use our track. 
Right, your board of directors and shareholders wish to see East India Railway Company's profits grow at a steady rate of at least half a million a year. Okay. A bonus of $50,000 will be rewarded to you each year this occurs. For this year, you must reach at least half a million in profit to reach the war reward. One million next year, and so on. That's a massive rate of expansion. How are we going to make half a million in company profit this year? That's not going to happen. Uh, I kind of want to get to Allahabad. So I'm contemplating taking out a bond and connecting to Allahabad. Yeah, that might have been a mistake, but we'll see. I'm just going to save the game, actually. Um, so this is C India by Rail Expert. Yeah. I have run out of track. I'm a dingus. Right. So, we're not going to get next to Allahabad. Uh, we could possibly maybe connect to Agra. Uh, look now. I'm wondering if I started in the wrong place. Or is it just... Is it, it's probably still too early to definitively know whether or not I started in the wrong place. Could go to look now. Uh, I think we've got enough money in track to do that. Could maybe connect to Agra and then rely on the AI, possibly using our track. So, something... If it'll bloody let me. Wait, that, that didn't do anything, right? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, because obviously we've got to electrify stuff. Uh, please do something. There we go. So we have to electrify the AI track in order to be able to use it. It's a bit annoying. Um, oh. Yeah, so we still don't have enough track to actually get to Agra. Pants. Do we have enough to get to look now? We should. Yeah, we do. Okay. 30 miles to spare worth of track. Go for a medium station. If you have not already discovered it, different regions in India demand different costs for building track, as I was explaining. For instance, the rocky instability of the coastlines requires more expensive graded track and higher station costs. As you enter into one of these regions with track, you'll be alerted to the conditions for building track. I think this is a really nice feature, but I don't like the fact that the borders aren't, like, clearly defined or marked, so I've got no idea where they are, and I only get told about them once. Um, I mean, it does say, like, Ganges Valley, Tar, or Thar Deserts, uh, Deccan Plateau, etc., but, um, I do wish it kind of was included somewhere, maybe in the briefing or something. Because um, obviously, saying like, oh, there's better hotels and stuff, like, I'm going to forget that. Where have all these passengers in New Delhi just suddenly come from? Are they all wanting to go to look now? Yeah, they are. That's really nice. So, let's get a train. Um... Look now to New Delhi. That is actually really nice. Class EF is cheap to maintain. Yeah, no, I think we just want to stick to the E18. It's such a great train. Um, passengers, rubber, chemicals, passengers, rice, passengers, passengers. So let's put a dining car on the train. Um, and we'll need maintenance and service. So we still need to get to like half a million company profit this year, which is probably not going to happen. 
But as far as I can tell, there's no penalty for not doing it. It's just you get $50,000 of comp... I, I think it's personal cash, which considering I don't give a shit about um, net worth, not that important. So... The last AI... Uh, Varanasi and Allahabad. Yeah. I think. I think they were the last AI. So, just having a look at the income statement. So we made 277,000 profit last year. Uh, they did not do well. The Agra and Hisar, which are our most local rival. Uh, but it seems like everyone else Varanasi and Allahabad did not do so well, but it seems like everyone else is actually making a lot of cash. I mean, it's not ideal, but at the same time, it does make the map more interesting, and I'm, uh, I can now actually say like I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, because I'm playing on an expert with advanced AI, or advanced in quotation marks AI. So, it doesn't seem like there was a penalty for not hitting half a million profit, um, is there actually any iron? There's no iron anywhere nearby, and there's no real coal nearby. There's a load of coal in, like, in Bhopal. I'm, I'm just thinking for, like, purposes of steel. Um... So we can get up to 750 miles per year. Hmm. Do want to get to Allahabad. I mean, obviously, eventually I want to get to everywhere, but... This is probably going to be one of those scenarios, like many scenarios, where it's like a slow start, but then eventually you just make so much money that you can just expand like everywhere. Because I mean... Oh, piss. To get gold we need 15,000 loads of cargo. Uh, which given we've only got 34 years to do it, is like... 270 per year as an average? Uh, no, that's not right, is it? Oh, I don't know. I can't think right now. Whatever, 15,000 divided by 34 is. It's about 400, I think. But, I mean, that's still, like, a lot. Uh, and also, we need 75 cities. Which again is a lot. I'm going to electrify around here. So, Allahabad. Again, probably maybe New Delhi to Allahabad. I'm aware that New Delhi is going to become very crowded. So possibly double up round here, like that. It's obviously not going to fix everything, but it might just help a bit. So we will make profit, but just not necessarily enough. You are taking part in the birth of a nation, India. Over 100 years of British rule ended last year and India was declared an independent nation. It was vasto it was Vasco da Gama in 1498 who was the first known European to arrive in India, at Calicut. The English set up a training post in Surat in 1617. By early 1800s, Britain dominated the area. More correctly, the East India Company was in control. The struggle for Indian self-rule was a long journey with numerous revolts and uprisings. It was Mahatma Gandhi's non-violent campaigns which finally won the prize of independence. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Uh... Good lord. 
Uh, right, so initial impressions, this is going to be a tough scenario. Um, and the AI are going to do well. Hopefully I'm wrong. Of course. Hopefully I'm wrong. So... That is a fuck ton of passengers. I'm gonna build hotels and stuff in New Delhi. Hotel. Don't know if post office ever makes any money, but we're gonna build one anyway. Yeah, post office never makes money. Doubles the length of time mail will wait nearby. To be honest though, I mean, I don't know like how much we're actually delivering mail, but yeah, whatever. It doesn't seem like, yeah, I've got a new train available. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure it's no penalty for not reaching like the half million, one million goal, because if there was, that would be a bit ridiculous. Um. Right, could take out another bond. It's got 250 miles of track. I don't know where we'd connect to. Could connect Varanasi to Patna, though. I don't think we have enough track. We do have enough track, actually, but it's like $2 million to do it. Is that just because of the bridge? That is a mighty bridge, to be fair. But yeah, we, we do have enough track, but we won't have enough money. Is the long and short of it. And also, uh, using two AI stations is not ideal. But of course, we'd only be using like a tiny bit of their track. Right, India-Pakistan Wars. Partition of India into three nations in 1947 sparked widespread violence and bloodshed. Newly formed West Pakistan, now modern Pakistan, was instantly a bitter enemy of India, attacking in force in the Punjab and Kashmir regions. Repulsed, they now bide their time to attack again. When attacks occur, all train traffic must stop in the Punjab and Kashmir regions, and priority of military cargo causes load on load times across India to increase until the hostilities are over. India always wins, but it usually takes months. Right. I don't know if that load on load time increasing is like just in Punjab and Kashmir or all over the place. Hopefully that won't impact me too much. New Delhi to Allahabad needs more oil, so let's just build maintenance and service. I think we're good to go now. Um. AI is just going mental and doing lots of stuff. Our share price is going up though. It's going to split as well. Patna and Bagalpur are making a fortune. Stock split two for one. That's very nice. Very pleased with our performance. How much did we make last year? 753. Yeah, so we again failed to make the million that we needed. Um, despite making... A, a good amount of cash. This Patna and Bagal Per company is really raking it in. Um, I don't know where to connect to to next. Agra and Hisar are actually making a loss. They don't have any bonds, interestingly, uh, yet. But they've actually just connected to Jaipur. So the, the AI are actually a danger here. They're actually doing well. Uh, me routes could be a possibility to connect to. Uh, or we could try and get to Garakpur. Or alternatively connect 
very nasty to pat her. Uh, I think we're going to take out some bombs. I'm just going to see how much this would cost. We need electric track, of course. I'm going to leave that, actually. Maybe the AI will run on my track as well, which would be quite useful. And then just run a train. I'm probably going to need to actually electrify a bit more track. Yes, I am. So, Varanasi Patna get an E18 going between them. Probably put a dining car on it as well, yeah. Down a car and just build a maintenance and service outside Patna. Problem is, of course, is I can't really do like Patna to Kanpur, for example. You can turn off the news. Okay. Choose whether or not to receive 11 newspapers with historical headlines. You will still receive Railroad Tycoon 3 economic news and such, unless it is disabled in the settings. No, I want historical news. Um, growing prosperity. Nice. Issue the stock. And we actually do have a good chunk of cash now. Uh, and 479 miles of track. I'm going to try and get to Garakpur. Wow, that is expensive, actually. How much is it for a wood bridge? Yeah, let's just go for a wood bridge. And then... Medium station can cover everything, so I think we'll just go for a medium. And that is a lot of passengers. I don't think we're going to go maybe all the way to New Delhi. So I think we'll just go Garakpur Kanpur. I think we've got an. Yeah. Is it my imagination or have trains become a bit cheaper? Because I don't think that was 128 when I got it. Right, that's kind of odd. I'm not complaining, it's just a bit odd. Uh, just got enough for a service tower. Uh, although actually there is one just outside Look now, so don't need them. Right. I do think the railroader is the easiest because, as I say, like you don't have to worry about net worth or industry profit. GP7 is good on hills, but we're not going to use that. Many of India's cities have been renamed since colonial times. Yeah, like Mumbai, Bombay, Kolkata, Calcutta. As it says, Bombay changed to Mumbai in 1995, Calcutta to Kolkata in 2001. City and country names used in this game were the names used in the 1960s, a midpoint of time span in this game. Okay. Um, doesn't affect gameplay, it's just basically an interesting note into the mind of the map maker, shall we say. Uh, yeah, so we're actually starting to make a bit more money now. Uh, we are in economic prosperity, which obviously does help things as well. We will end up going to Kathmandu anyway. Um, it's just one million to get there, plus the track, plus the station. Like, it's not something we're going to do right now. Um, I mean, eventually we'll just go everywhere anyway. But right, just looking. Calcutta to. Dan or darn bad. I could maybe get 
If I built along there, I'd need one or two bridges. I would need a lot more bonds as well, and we don't have enough track, I reckon, so. But it could be an interesting possibility. Um, God, the AI is just going mental. Have you seen these guys? What are they doing? I mean, that is pretty awful track. But you've got to give them credit, they're building. It will make... It, it will be a bit awkward for me, though, because... India grows world-famous tea and coffee. Ship eight loads of tea and coffee per year to the Bombay port for a payment of $400,000. Uh, Fifteen loads of 800000 So, ship coffee to Bombay. Yeah, okay. Stock split two for one. How much did we make last year? Highly excited about us. 1.2 million. Which is still not like the 1.5 million we would have actually needed to get the bonus. It's, yeah, probably a very good thing we're not going for like, um... Right, so if we look at the, like, the AI... All of them are doing well. Yeah, they're all really expensive, so we're probably never going to buy an AI unless... Oh, how much is the... Um... I mean, even them, they only have two cities, but they're still like... Three and a bit million, too, and they're not using our track either. Eh. Oh, well. Um, Could it be worth getting to Kathmandu? It would be a lot of money. Or I just go to me roots. Possibly. Well, let's just go to me roots since we need all the cities we can get. This hasn't been. Why does it keep turning electric track off? Is it a bug or is it a game feature? I don't know. East India Railway Company connects five cities. We've been given two hundred thousand dollars. Nice. Um, just kind of hoping for more, but and the AI controls this fertilizer factory, which is kind of annoying because that's making a lot of money. Um, New Delhi to me Ruts is going to get a lot of passengers. It seems. Starting me Ruts, and the um, loads have just got bigger, so trains are going to go a bit slower. Eh, inevitable. Nothing we can do. Uh, can we get to Chan Chandigarh? I mean, we've got 630 miles of track, so we're damn well going to try. Again, it's turned it off. I mean, we don't have to go electric, I just think it's better because I really like the A18. Punjab and Kashmir. Most hostile and volatile area of India. Extra security raises the overall track laying costs. Trains must run slower to watch for damaged track. The handiwork of insurgents and agitators. Warehouse and the mountain city of Srinagar offers and accepts goods, making it well worth the effort that could reach it by track. Where is Srinagar? It's way up there. So to get there, we'd have to go like Chandigarh, Amritsar, and then up towards Jammu. And then from Jammu, we'd have to sort of build. Uh, oh, okay. It's actually like sort of a mountain pass, like up round here, and then bend up here, and then up here, and then through this mountain pass to the. Admittedly, a very small Srinagar, but it does supply coal, lumber, and wool, which are all useful. Um, coffee, paper, and goods. Demands 
grain and ammunition. It doesn't actually supply or demand goods, so I don't know what that's talking about. Um, yeah, I don't quite know what that was about then. But anyway, we've made it to Chandigarh. Which again is just passengers, really, to and from New Delhi. So there's actually not much freight traffic anymore, it seems, which I find a bit odd. Maybe not much in the way of industry at the moment. Well, they're saying that New Delhi does. Well, there's still a lot of freight around. I don't know. Maybe it's just because there's so many passengers. I don't know. How are these doing? Good. 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 Yeah, good. Right. Um, can we get to Amritsar? Maybe. Yes. Yes. We can. Okay, just actually hang on. Build that bit of track again. There we go. Right. So we made it to Amritsar. Very nice. Uh, I'm wondering how to build this station because that might be better. You know, we can upgrade it to a large if we want to, like that. So, hmm. Amritsar Chandigarh, possibly. There are a ton of passengers on this map. If we look at our revenue, that's disappointing. Revenue from last year, it's just mostly express. Which I find interesting. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that the cars have gone uh, bigger. Company's book value has reached 5 million. Nice. Interest rates drop 2% for a year. Okay, so basically now is the time to take out a load of bonds. Republic of India proclaimed. Constitution ratified as a republic. And I can't pronounce this guy's name despite the fact I've heard of him. Jawaharlal Nehru named first Prime Minister of India. Uh, yeah, so basically now is the time to take out bonds. 7%. How much track have we got? Oops. 351 miles of track. I reckon that's enough to get to the Jammu. In fact, it is enough to get to the Jammu. Yeah. So, Jammu to me. Hmm. Chandigarh, maybe. Or Chandigarh, even. Yeah. Okay, Jammu, Chandigarh. That's a lot of passengers. And the next stop, though it will be expensive, Srinagar. Um, I kind of regret having this many AI now. They're just getting in the way. And if I do buy them out, I'm probably going to have to destroy a lot of their track anyway, which is questionable if I'll ever actually be able to buy them out. 217 miles of track, I'm guessing that's not enough. I mean, hypothetically. A direct route, we'd have 93 miles of track left. So to actually, like, build the route that I want to go, 
which isn't obviously ideal because it's very winding and it's still very steep but it did say it would be worth it and I mean it is a city at the end of the day obviously we run out of money but I don't think we have enough track as it is so um, so in terms of actual expansion I do want to kind of get to Agra. Um, Al Mora, possibly, though we don't have enough track. Um, Down Bad Calcutta is still an option, but also we don't have enough track to do that either. It's also running out of places to expand it here. Um, okay. New train available. Don't want to concern ourselves with that just yet. So we are actually making a lot of money now. Admittedly we're in prosperity, but that is that is good. All the AI are very expensive, so also we can't buy any of them out. That is an upgraded warehouse in Patna, supplying a lot of coffee. Do I have to deliver these coffee things anywhere? Um, just anywhere. 200. Yeah, 15,000 loads. Obviously, as we grow, that will increase a lot. Uh, what is this AI track? The AI appear to have sort of the Allahabad and Varanasi they seem to have just built a massive amount of track here to connect to Gwalior which was owned by a different AI company these AI they're dangerous they're doing really well they're dangerous alright they're not to be messed with um, Two more loans. Also, oh god, I actually kind of wish I just went with no AI. It would have made my life a lot easier and a lot simpler. Oh well. Are there any really, really profitable industries that I could potentially buy? That's a profitable industry. That's a really profitable brewery. Wow. Green and rice. Of which there's a lot of green in New Delhi. And there's a fair amount of rice actually as well, so. But it would be like all my money. Oh well, let's just buy it. <laughs> okay. Does possibly need an upgrade. Not quite just yet needs an upgrade. So, for the bonus, we need to hit 2 million, which we are actually going to do. So, hey! 50,000 personal reward for exceeding 2 million in this year. Keep up the pace, everyone's looking forward to another prosperous year. Warehouses can represent an Indian street market, a print shop, or an appliance shop. Markets exchange items and supply coffee and toys. Print shops, blah blah blah. Take advantage of the trades and demands to boost sh cargo shipments. Okay. Stock split two for one. Very nice. Ecstatic about your performance. Right, so let's just buy a load of shares of ourselves. Since we 
are not even in the top three of the larger shareholders. Well, that's not good, so I'm going to buy some shares on the margin of ourselves, since I'm expecting the share price will increase. Um, where's that brewery? There it is. It does kind of need an upgrade, though we can't afford it right just yet. Hmm. Okay, so let's just look at objectives. Cities... So if we're just going for silver, we need to connect a load of cities together. Calcutta being one of them. Check out another million. And... Let's try and connect... To Calcutta. I'm assuming we've got enough money and track. The AI builds in such unconventional track ways that it makes building my own track really quite annoying, if I'm being honest. So this is going to be quite expensive and sort of convoluted. Also, Calcutta is massive and quite difficult to build around. But, hopefully worth it. Especially since we do have to build there anyway. And even a large station doesn't actually cover everything. Uh, that's probably the best place for that station. And... Medium station does miss out the farm, so I'll build a large there. That's already connected. Ten cities, so an extra $200,000. Cheers. Could kind of do these bonuses being a bit bigger. Wow, that is a massive profit on weapons. Right, Calcutta has some troops. A hell of a lot of passengers, because there's so many houses. Uh, right. Okay. I'm going to build Calcutta to Kutak. With a dining car. And then another one. It'll be like Kutak to Hyora. Or Hyora. Not with a dining car. Because it doesn't look like as many passengers. I mean, there's some, but not enough to warrant a dining car, I don't think. Now, I kind of do want to... God, you say that, I've been annoying. Bubaneshwa. Let's build a large station there. Calcutta to Bubaneshwar could be interesting. There's a lot of passengers. I'm actually going to have another train doing just the reverse journey. So we are using a bit of AI track. I think it'll be worth it in the end, because profits are actually now rapidly increasing, which is good. Admittedly we're in prosperity, but even so. Still got 334 miles of track, so we could try and get to Brahmapur, which I think we will connect to, actually. Can I get with a medium? Yeah, medium station will cut it. And 
it's gone back to not electrified, which is fan diddly tastic. Okay, how am I going to get to connect these up? Like that, electrify that. Gant or Gant coastlands. Where the seas meet the mountains, the Gants is beautiful, but geologically unstable. Graded track is costly since the track bed must be well benched. Firm foundations cause all building, including station, shed and water tower to rise in price. Industry buildings as well. Yeah, I, should, yeah, I can see it there. It costs 25% more. Hotel and restaurant revenue saw from vacationers. Okay, so it could be worthwhile building hotels in this sort of area where it's that we get enough passengers and stuff. Uh, let's just do that right now, actually. Why not? Yep. So... Just a simple train from Brahmapur to Bhubaneswar with dining car of course because that's a shit ton of passengers and also build hotels and stuff in here do we have it in Calcutta? no we don't so there we go I can't issue stock, it won't let me no, I don't think 